Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link your Microsoft Access database values from a combo box tool in C Sharp. So I will just go to my toolbox and I will take a combo box from here. And suppose I want to list out or populate this combo box with the column values in my database. So for example, I want to list out all the first name in this combo box. I want to populate all the data from this column to my combo box. How can I do it? I will show you in this video. So we have this combo box. You can change the name of this combo box as you wish. I will leave it as default as combo box 1, right? Now, in order to link this uh, combo box with your um, uh, database value, just select your form as a whole. So just select uh, your form and double click it. And you will reach to the form load event of your code or of your form, right? So in this form load event, what I'm going to do is, let's uh, copy all the code we have used in the last videos. So for example, in the last video, I've shown you how to delete the data in the database using uh, your C sharp code. So I will just copy whatever uh, is there in this button click event from try uh, co block to the end of catch, right? And I will go to this form load event once again and I will paste it. And by now I think you know what this connection is doing, how to make this connection and how to pass the queries. So once again I will go through it really fast. This connection is our OLEDB connection which we have declared in the earlier videos. If you don't know still how I created this connection, you need to uh, show, um, you need to see my last videos. Okay, so we will open the connection and we will create a command for uh, executing this command. So this is a command object, OLEDB command is equal to new command and then we will give a connection to this command. So we will write connection command dot connection is equal to connection, which is our OLEDB connection. Then we will uh, create a variable string, which we call query. And here we will pass our query. Right now I will leave it blank and we will make our query for the combo box in a moment. And then in the next line, we will just pass this query to this command. So command dot command text is equal to query which we are going to create here. And then for showing to the uh, showing data to the combo box, we need to write a select query. So we need to fetch some data from the database. So in here we will write, I will just delete this message box, we don't need it. And instead of uh, writing command dot execute non query, this execute non query is used for uh, the insert, delete or update which uh, do not return any values from the database. So for uh, taking or for reading the values from the database, I will add com command dot execute reader. And what this execute reader does is it will uh, read the values, more than one values from the database and then we can use those values but these values we want to save it in some reader so we will write OLEDB reader or data reader we say OLEDB data reader and we would name it as reader for example is equal to command dot execute reader and this will be like this and once this uh, command uh, reads a value and place it into this reader or points this uh, reader will point all the values one by one we can uh, iterate this value by a while loop so I will write while reader dot read so this is this reader dot read will give us a boolean value 
objects and what this reader dot read will do is it will keep on reading data while until and unless this uh, reader dot read value is true you see it's returning boolean value so until and unless this uh, condition is uh, true it will keep on looping in this uh, loop right and now in this loop what we want to do is just copy the name of your combo box this is my combo box and the name of my combo box is combo box 1 and in this form load event in this while loop I will paste this combo box and I will say combo box dot items dot add and what we are going to add in the combo box the values which we read from the database so just write reader and then we will write this square brackets and in this square brackets you can see here it's uh, the, you can call two kinds of uh, uh, values one is on the basis of index of the data and second on the basis of a string you see string name right but first let's construct our query so you just need to pass a simple query here just write select star the star or asterisk will uh, return all the values which uh, you have in the database star means all the columns right otherwise you specify the name of the columns okay so uh, select star from your database table name which is employee data in my case select star from employee data just this this will be our query and for example i want to list out or populate all the first name from my database what can i do is i can just uh, copy the name of my column which is first name and in here in the square bracket i can pass this name of the column so this will return the name uh, or data which is there in the first name column one by one until and unless it reads uh, the data or it uh, read all the data and this will return this is a object and we need to cast it to a string so we will write reader dot to string okay so this will convert your data to a string and because this uh, combo box takes a string that's why you need to give the string here now let's try to run the program and i'll give the username and password and let's hope it's uh, it doesn't okay so we need to close this database first which is uh, opened because as you know access can't open two connections at the same time once again i will just close this and run it once again and once again username and password and you have the second form and once you see this you will be able to see all the names which are there in the database okay so let me open this database once again and we will tally our names database is open now and now you can see this is the list of first names mark john julie paul or whatever and here also you have the list of name mark john julie paul all the names are here right which, is, which are there in the database now suppose you also want to show the last name of the employee also how you can do it you can just go to your code first and you can concatenate use concatenate operator which is plus and in here you can write you can give a little space and you can once again use this 
reader dot to string and instead of uh, this first name i will give this time the last name which is this one okay so it will show first name and last name and let's close our database and let's run it and username and password correct and now you see first name and last name are coming here with a space okay so you can show your data in the database columns like this there is one more way of showing the data in this combo box and i will show you that also so if you want you can use it so you can select you can change your query like this select first name and this query when you write select first name from your table name this will only select or this will only fetch you the first name column values okay and now you know the that you will only get the first name column values then you can just write the index of this as zero and then i will once again run the program and you will also get the same result by the index also now for example you want to also you also want to fetch the last name so you can just give a comma and give last name here so just this query is select first name comma last name from your table name and you can just use once again this concatenation operator here with a space and now this reader this index will be one right because this is the zeroth index and this is the first index run the program give username and password and now you see the result are same and once again just a little hint that if you write last name so you can you write select last name from this and you will see give the index zero here you will see the last name okay so index depend upon your query you see the last name okay so this index uh, depends upon your query so in this way you can use these two ways to fetch data from your database into your column okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now